everybody, my name is Dan or Cayman Films and welcome to the SCP Lockdown mod. We've got some new SCPs in store for you. We've got 10 of them to be precise. We just check out this very secure chest with a very secure password. I've stolen these uh, these documents from the SCP Foundation over there and uh, we're going to check them out. So we've got the monster pot. We've got this black shuck, vermin god, stairwell, I know that one, world's best toothbrush. The Old Man is my favorite SCP because it's definitely the scariest in my opinion. The Painting, Red Pool, and Hunter in the Dark. Now, best thing is, is that the SCP Foundation was very kind. They gave me this nice little room. It has a bed in it, a chair, very nice and comfy. It's really good for just like making sure I rest in between, you know, instances of showcasing these monsters. So, first things first, we're going to show you the monster pot. We're just going to place that down right here. Boom, we got a room right here. Now. SCP-19, the monster pot, is very, very cool because it's this old-fashioned Greek pot that uh, monsters come out of. That's, that's really it. Now, every once in a while, monsters will spawn from that pot. And we just kind of wait around. The current rate for these things is about one every hour. However, I think I can go and agitate it a little bit just for you guys. Hey there. And as soon as I agitate it, I'm running back out because these things are very aggressive and the best way to kill them is with the incinerator. So let me just, uh... Hey, yep, oh, okay, yep, no, 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 hey, 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 hey! All right, well, <clears throat> that, uh, they're more aggressive than I thought. Luckily, for some reason, I just wake up over here, which is great. Now we can just check them out for you know, for normal, for realsies, because they have a room full, and they come out and swarm. Now, they don't always swarm. If they just come out naturally, it's just like one at a time. But as you can see, there they are. They they kind of look like weird naked rabbits, uh, but they're kind of more human than that, and I really don't like them. So let's just burn them up. All right, before we check out the next SCP, I'm actually going to show you the SCP I'm wearing right now. It's pretty cool. You like it? It's called Telekill Armor. This is SCP-148. It's a very cool alloy. Um, it also has a really cool side effect where it's really defensive against like extrasensory and mental attacks and some magic kind of stuff too. So I'm really hoping it'll help me out with this next SCP because we're about to go check out SCP-23, otherwise known as Black Shuck. Now Black Shuck is a very weird one. It's a Canine, but when you see it, you get afflicted with a curse that in one year from the time you actually see it, you or a member of your immediate family will die. It might not even be immediate. I think it's just anyone related to you. So we're going to be very, very sneaky about this. Luckily, I have no relatives. Oh, hi. Um, oh, I looked at Black Shuck. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Now, luckily, uh, you can kill it. I'm going to have to because it just breached containment, but I killed it, and now I've been afflicted with Black Shuck's Curse. Now, in Minecraft itself, it's 10 minutes, and you die. So if we let the timer count down, I will just suddenly drop dead in my tracks and uh, wake up in my bed over there for some reason. All right, well, that was fun. I'll keep the effects going because I'm not really worried about death. So if I like die during another SCP showcase part, uh, I'll think that's kind of humorous. All right, so this one in front of me, I don't really need my telekill armor or anything like that. It's actually a really boring SCP, but I thought I would showcase it to you anyway because we needed a change in pace and I'm tired of having people attack me, okay? This is SCP-027, otherwise known as the King of Vermin or the Vermin King. Uh, the sad thing is it's not really like, it's not a big deal. It's actually just this random guy. Let's just go and say hi. I talk to him every once in a while. Hey, Frank, yeah, you sitting on top of the, the chest again? Cool. So it's really just Frank. He doesn't really do much. Uh, but over the course of a few days to weeks to months, like rats, cockroaches, bugs, every pest you can think of, they kind of, they're just, they're just attracted to him. And he can't, like, control them like the Pied Piper or anything. They're just like, look how dirty he is. You know why? Because every time they give him new clothes, bugs and stuff just kind of eat his clothing. It sucks. He gets bitten. It's a terrible existence. At least he's got, like, a nice place to live. He's got TV. 
He's got a bed, a very similar bed to mine, a desk. He's got a desk, I want a desk, and a toilet, and a sink. So he's got a pretty decent setup, you know, but uh, yeah, it's not really the best life to live. As you can see, the Vermin King, his abilities are starting to work. Hey guys, don't mind me. Okay, this hole is perfect for placing down this document. This is SCP-087, the stairwell, one I know very well and good. Okay, um, I, I, I honestly, I have no idea what's going on, and there's ways out of the stairwell now? No, they continue to go. I'm, I'm hallucinating these blocks. I, I don't really, what's in my hand? Vankar tree sapling. I'm also still affected by Black Chuck's curse, so I don't know what's going to happen. Am I going to get out of the staircase before... Before that, or am I going to die? Wait, there's nothing down. Oh! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Okay! That actually- Oh my! Get away from me! Get away from me! Holy crap, has that thing been behind me the entire time? Now, I know I showcased the stairwell before, but as you can see, things kind of got a little- a little different this time. Might as well die in this hole. Let Black Shuck's curse take me away. It sure is beautiful seeing the sun set. Hopefully this will be the last thing I see. Beautiful. Serenity. Tranquility. Alright, there we go. And I kept my stuff too. What a what a fortuitous event. How about that? Alright, let's go check out the next SCP! Remember kids, you should always brush your teeth! And that's why I have SCP-63, the world's best toothbrush, in front of me. We're gonna dig a hole in the ground so we can place this down. Boom! And it's kinda weird that it took away the ground around it, but, um, alright. Let's go check it out! We've got the world's best toothbrush. Isn't that great? Now, I do want to point out that this is misspelled on purpose. It's the world's best toth brush. That is not a typo, or maybe it is, but that's that's how it's spelled on the brush right here in my hand. So the cool thing about the world's best toth brush is that if you right click with the toth brush, it can destroy anything. It can destroy anything that can physically be destroyed naturally. It's just that good. It does a great job on cavities, let me tell you. But the one thing it can't do is break bedrock or anything else that you can't break. It doesn't work on living things, so you can't like delete things out of existence because that is in fact what the Toth brush is doing. It's deleting these things out of existence. They don't exist anymore at all. I'm gonna put that back. That's a little too dangerous for me. People could use it to like break into houses and stuff. That's too creepy for me. All right, next SCP. All right, for this SCP, I have to actually be really careful. I'm actually extremely scared of this one. This is SCP-106, otherwise known as the Old Man. I know what you're thinking. It's just an old man. What could the problem be? Well, he's extremely, extremely dangerous. And there he is. Now, luckily right now, I'm kind of cloaked to him. But as soon as I even let him know I'm really here, oh boy, um, he he he's scary. He can he can go into like a weird pocket dimension. He corrodes every metal around him. He is extremely deadly, and unfortunately, I think I got to show you that. Now I actually broke into the actual SCP facility. I didn't feel good trying to make another instance of this guy, but uh, let's see. We're gonna game mode zero ourselves. And he already knows I'm here. Hey, hide. Ow! Hey! Get off! Get away from me! Okay, he, so he's very aggressive. He's got a lot of HP. He's supposed to be trying to take me to his pocket dimension, though. And he's not really doing that. He's just a very aggressive old man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, old man? Huh? Oh, hey! Nope. Okay, so the way this guy works is he's supposed. Yeah, he can go through anything. As you can see, he can go through anything that's not these blocks. Ah! Watch, he'll- Ow! Get, get away! Get away! Get away! Ow! He's in the wall! He's in the wall! Okay. So, he doesn't have to follow the laws of physics. He can just go through the straightest line to me. 
and he's dangerous. Just super dangerous. Watch. Where are you going to come from? Where are you going to come from? Oh, there you are. Back off. Back off. Very dangerous. Let's try to put him back in containment. Oh. Is he dead? Nope! He's not dead. He's not dead. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm done with him. He scares the crap out of me. He can stay inside there, though, if he wants. He can stay inside there if he wants. I'm done. Okay, so after a grueling experience like dealing with the old man, I feel like I need to relax and observe some art. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to deal with SCP-151, otherwise known as the painting. Now, here's something you guys might not know. When you spawn one of these areas, you can actually click the computer, and it'll give you a link to the website's wiki page about the SCP. So for those of you guys who need to learn about the SCP, you just summoned into this world. Oh, there you go. Now. There's a beautiful painting. It just kind of kills you if you look at it. You start drowning immediately. Look, guys. There's just random steak in my room. Neat. All right, the one in front of us is kind of weird. We took this from Canada. It's SCP-354, otherwise known as the Red Pool. If we go in here... Oh, oh, really? One of them already out? So it's just this big red pool of red liquid, but these very aggressive entities come out of it. There's this guy, and there's way more of them. And I just want to let them to leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just here to observe. All right, so I have an array of spawn eggs. I've also given myself the strongest weapon, which is the broken telekill sword. So let's just spawn SCP-354-1. It is this gigantic bat thing, and it was very aggressive. Let's just kill it. Let's just kill it. There we go. All right, it's dead. Now let's try 354-3. Oh! Um... You're not getting out of here. Whoa, it explodes! Okay, so that's a flying bomb thing. We've also got this thing, which I'm pretty sure is just a weird dino croc monster. Very nice. And that's Cthulhu. That is legitimately Cthulhu. Cthulhu is in the ground. Okay, no. Cthulhu, you get to stay in the water, though. I liked you in there. There you go. That's about right. Oh, yep. Cool. Okay, what about this guy? It's an ice wolf. Ice dog. These are all aggressive, by the way. I just don't want to deal with them right this moment. And then a lava cheetah. Okay, I feel like I see a, I see a pattern here. And then finally, that guy. I remember you. I don't like you at all. You're not going to get out of here, bro. All right. Anyway, that is the red pool. Let's go on to the final SCP for today. All right. And the final one we're going to do is SCP-689, otherwise known as Haunter in the Dark. And I know what you're thinking. I thought that it was the Pokemon Haunter and that Pokemon were SCPs. I was extremely disappointed when I found out, no, it's just a weird statue. So the way this one works is you look at Haunter. You've spotted Haunter, and now, after an indeterminate amount of time, you will randomly die. And I'm the perfect test subject, because I apparently can't die, which is nice. I'll just wake up over where I am, and this is how Haunter gets out. You die, you leave your abode, and you go back to where Haunter should be, right? And you find out he's not where he was! Where is he? Well, he is where I died. He is now on the exact location I died, and if anyone looks at it directly, they will die, and it will teleport to wherever they died. So, it's kind of a bit of a mystery as to how it's killing people. Um, I guess the best idea to contain it would be to look at it, go inside here, and just let it, just let it kill me. Just let it kill me. So how's your day going? That's pretty good. We went over a lot of SCPs. All right, everybody. We went over all 10 SCPs for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the SCP Lockdown mod. Now, if you want to download this for yourself, links are going to be in the description, along with 
the map that I'm on, which is called Site 21. Special thanks to them. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do the showcase or do my SCP roleplay that you might have seen. So that's really awesome. You can download it to check it out. And you might spot me somewhere along the people on the map if you go download it this moment. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this and want to see more SCP Lockdown, there's still more SCPs to do. Make sure you leave a like, a comment. Tell me what your favorite SCP is and which one you'd like me to see. And hopefully, if it's in the mod, I will go and showcase it. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.